shading shading techniques hatching in this lines are used generally in line with the shape of the object and do not cross each other mostly they are parallel lines cross hatching when hatching is done from different directions and the lines cross over each other it is called cross hatching blending the medium is applied with various pressure or by other means of spreading such as tissues or earbuds or blending stumps it creates smooth gradation rendering rendering is when some areas are erased to show highlights so practically it is combined with some other application method such as blending so after you finished blending rendering can be done random lines random lines are drawn to make an area darker stippling this is a method wherein countless dots are used the more is the concentration of dots darker is the area it is most suited for paint drawing value it is the darkness or lightness of a color an object is highlighted by brighter value that is white and shadow is shown by darker tone of the color space in terms of art space refers to the area above below around and within the objects in the frame by different ways we can show space overlapping putting objects on higher plane varying the size details being shown value of shade or color and perspective are the main ones when two objects overlap the one behind appears further two objects of same size one on the higher plane appears further a smaller object adjacent to a bigger object appears further an object far away will have less details of its structure an object far off will have lower value whereas an object close by will be darker and brighter in the sense of perspective the objects appear to follow a vanishing line to a vanishing point on the horizon line in case of atmospheric perspective the value or brightness of closer objects is higher texture texture is how something feels or looks like it feels like rough smooth hairy bushy texture can be made using texture mediums such as gels and paste also color color is a bit complex to understand and exploit but once the basics are clear it is extremely interesting this part will be covered in detail in the next video color theory and application now we'll discuss the basic drawing techniques in this we'll touch upon observation techniques composition techniques the elements of art which we have already discussed and some tips on drawing from life or a photo or reference and some figure drawing basics observation drawing is at least 50% of observation we need to analyze the subject to be drawn and see the direction from where the light is coming from there will be shadow on the opposite side and there will be highlight on the light side squint your eyes to appreciate the lightest and darkest value areas check the sizes of objects to get the right perspective and also relative sizes of objects can be measured up coming to composition composition is how we plan the painting or drawing which objects should be in the frame what should be the size and proportion of them what should be the color composition and so on some effective principles for a good composition are rule of third 
if we divide the drawing area into three parts both in the length and the breadth and draw lines the points of junction are most suited for placing the objects of interest similarly there is a golden mean formula which is a complex version of rule of the third only we'll skip that for convenience balance there should be a balance of objects not too many not too regular or repetitive not too much of negative space and so on it should be soothing to the eyes positive and negative space the spaces of sky or open water consist of negative spaces it can be used judiciously for different effects thumbnail sketching a rough sketch can be drawn elsewhere to check the composition before drawing or painting variety should be there to generate interest in the form of shapes sizes and color the composition should assist eye movement which means there should be some kind of flow the object should be placed in a rhythmic way